Disney family. We are headed to the park. We are had a very, very late start this morning. My daughter did not go to bed until 3 a.m., so we slept in a little bit. It is very hard, I have to tell you, to try and transition from West Coast to East Coast time. East Coast and West Coast is a little bit easier because you get an early start to morning, but I find it to be much, much more difficult. So, we are headed to the park, we're going to Epcot, and I am so excited. We're headed to Frozen first. We missed our first Fast Pass this morning, but that's okay. We're headed to Frozen, so let's go. So we just got into the World Showcase. We are headed over to Frozen Ever After. You guys, it is such a pretty day, and a great day to do the Food and Wine Festival. Let me give you a little show. Obviously, as you guys know, I will not be participating in the wine part, but the food part, I will absolutely be participating in. Okay, so we are about to head on Frozen Ever After, and I'm pretty excited about this one. My daughter is eating a applesauce, because that's all she's asked for this morning. So I'm just letting her finish that up, and then we're going to head on the ride. favorite YouTuber. You guys know I've talked about him on my channel. It's Michael K. I will link his stuff in this video. And I'm also linked in one of his videos probably day four of his. I think it's day four. I think he's on day four of this trip. So I will link his stuff below, but go check me out over there too because I give a little shout out in there. Anyway, he's great. If you don't already follow him, please make sure that you go do that. So right now I have like a very attached toddler. My mom's holding her and she's holding me because we are walking into Mexico and we are going to go ride the Mexico ride. to try their allergy menu. So we just had our meal at Artist Point and the food was fantastic. So if you have an opportunity to use that discount, I highly recommend it. There were some rules. I think you have to eat either before 6.30 for dinner or after 8.30. And it's for dinner time only, but highly recommend it. The food was great. Now, if you've never been in the wilderness lodge, it looks a whole lot like the Grand Californian. So let's just take a peek real quick. Now I don't know if you guys can see that behind me, but there's actually a bridge that does over this. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear, but um, Whispering Canyon is doing their kind of fun little show. They, Whispering Canyon is really fun if you've never been there. We used to go every year when we were little and we stayed at Fort Wilderness and we would hop over here and 
do that. It was Whispering Canyon's great, super fun for kids, and I feel like it's underrated. Like a lot of people don't do it. But um, so I don't know if you guys could see though. I was starting to show you this kind of bridge over this really pretty walkway, and it's um, over like this kind of river-looking thing. So let me show you this. Definitely a beautiful hotel and looks a whole lot like the Grand Californian at Disneyland. It's our own best jet class. We are ending our night at Epcot. I think we're going to go ride Spaceship Earth and maybe try and catch Nemo before we head back to the hotel. We just got into Epcot and we are heading into Future World, which is really nice because we just did the World Showcase earlier today. And I am looking forward to going on Spaceship Earth, you know, seeing that big ball, taking a little video, having a good time. So let's head into Epcot. It got so pretty at night. So we are headed over to, I think, Spaceship Earth. I think that's where we're going to go for our first ride. Look what's still here. So that one tastes like a less sweet version of Rock and Wet, Rock and Ride Fago. So I know my Michigan people, you guys don't know what that is. My mom and I were just talking about how much we love the boardwalk at night. It's so pretty and there's so much to do and it's usually like not very crowded and there's a lot of like actual entertainment on the boardwalk. So it's really a nice place to go. If you have not checked it out, you should definitely head over and come because there's just, there's tons to do. They have two dance hall or they have a dance hall and they've got jelly rolls which is a dueling piano bar, tons of places to eat and then like I said, they have entertainment on the boardwalk. So. If you haven't had a chance to, you should definitely come over here. We had such an awesome day. We finished off at the Bellevue Lounge at the Boardwalk, which I told you is like my favorite lounge. And we are just ending our night, so we will see you tomorrow, guys. I am so excited. I am doing finally some resort hopping, which I've really been looking forward to, and also Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I cannot wait for. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.